Okay, so I thought I'd test the thermals on my Orange Pi 5. Uh, you can see here I've mounted a fan. The fan is running from 3.3 volts. If I moved it to this GPIO pin, it would be running on 5 volts, but I, I can't even hear it from the distance I'm at, and it works really, really well. So you can see underneath, it's quite far off the CPU and all the other chips that are on there. It's blowing air down onto the Orange Pi 5, but I'm going to test it with and without to show how it thermal throttles. So basically, when you're putting it under pressure, what it will do is lower the speed of the CPU to be able to cope. Uh, and with the fan, hopefully the, the CPU speed will stay uh, at a high rate so we've got better performance. I'm currently trying to install KDE Plasma into the XFCE build of Debian, and I've already done it on the server build, but it had some problems with folders, but that's the one I'm gonna to use to test the thermals because I've already got P-Sensor and Conkey and all sorts of things on there. So once this is finished, I'm gonna switch back over to this SD card, which has already got KDE Plasma running in Debian server, but I'm gonna do a tutorial when I've, I'm happy with how it's running because I've still also got the option of putting KDE Plasma into Ubuntu as well. So I'll see which one works. Uh, it looks like this installation is going all the way through but I've got the other one set up so I can uh, do all the tests for the thermals. I've also put it on little stilts, you can see, uh, with little tiny rubber feet. Uh, it's just because this case actually doesn't fit this 3D printed case. Uh, you, just, you just can't get it in there. It's the right size and everything, but you have to, because these protrude slightly, uh, you'd have to force it in and, it, and I just don't, as it's the only board I've got, I don't feel like forcing it in. What I might do is, basically cut out all these top bits so I can just drop it straight in. Um, and these are whoop, these are proud, so I don't think it'll affect that. So I might still look at using this, but I, I, it needs active cooling and I don't think there's enough ventilation for, to be able to use this case. Also that's finished, but I'll show that in another video because I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is shut this down and uh, start up with the KDE Plasma that I've created for this test. And the reason I want to use KDE Plasma is just that this build, this XFCE build, is just, for me, is too basic. I don't like the way it works. Uh, I can't press the Windows key and start searching for an app and things like that, which I really like. I don't think there's any window snapping either. I could be wrong on that. Oh, no, there is window snapping, Ooh, although it's a bit sketchy. Um, so let's shut this down anyway, because that will come in a future video. And I'm using SD cards just for simplicity at this stage, but I, uh, I have got an NVMe drive and I will be doing videos with NVMe drive. Obviously, that's gonna give me much better performance, but for the, for the purpose of these tests, it's just easy to be able to switch between SD cards. I can switch between Android and so on. And I'm not sure if you have to change something from what I've been reading to be able to use an NVMe drive, so then I won't have the same flexibility because I've only got one NVMe drive, so I can't switch between all the operating systems, I think, in the same way, but I'll, I'll, again, I'll find that out. So that's the new card in, let's switch off. I've got to wait for the little LED light to go out and then switch on again. And here's how it boots up, so let's log in. And I've changed the, uh, the splash screen there to make it look a bit nicer than the more basic one. Change the background. And I just really like the way KDE Plasma works. I've got a whole playlist on using it on the Raspberry Pi. You can even download my operating system for Raspberry Pi. I haven't done that for the Orange Pi. Um, but if I press the Windows key, then I get all my apps up. If I wanted to start searching for something, say something like Gparted, I can just start typing it and it comes up. But even on the desktop, if you start typing, so say Xmoto, which is a, a basic game I've installed, you can see it comes up at the top and you can just click on it and launch it. Anyway, this test is more about the thermals. And first of all, I'm gonna disconnect my fan uh, and I'm gonna shut this down before I do that because uh, I've, uh, I've been bitten by GPIO pins in the past. So shut down, make sure there's no power going to it and then I'll disconnect. And that's just switched off. So switch off here. Just disconnect the red one and switch back on again. So no LED lights. So let's start up P sensor and also let's start up Conkey as well. So now we can see our 
CPU frequency, so 1800 it's running at the moment, and uh, we can also see how hot it is and how hot it gets because P sensor remembers the maximum temperature it got to. So now I have a launch handbrake. You can see the performance of this OS uh, is really, really good on this device. So let's drag this down a bit. And I've got on my desktop, I've got this GoPro footage that I took a while ago. So if I open it with that, and then I'll just use this preset that's in here. So official general fast 108030. So all I'm doing is converting this video into 108030. It's probably in 108060 as it is anyway, um, but I'll just do the same test on each one. So let's hit start. And we see how long it goes for, but also we keep an eye on the CPU speed top left and see if it slows down. Now, down the bottom, I can see it's already got up to 74, 76 on one of the cores, 78. Uh, the CPU hasn't throttled yet, I think probably at 80 degrees. So one's at 82. Now it's still running at full speed, 85. Yeah, see it dropped, 1608. And all these cores are working hard, like So it didn't take long to speed it up. Uh, so 14, 16. So that's gonna affect the performance because it slowed down. So in theory, when we've got the fan running, that should complete this process without having to throttle. See 1200 it's dropped to already as well. But you can see it's going up and down, trying to cope with it, 1200, 1600. Again, th this is working really hard. Uh, you wouldn't get this under normal use, but it's, it's always interesting to see how well it copes with it. 816 it went down to then. And it wouldn't have wanted to, because obviously it's trying to do this as fast as possible. The highest temperatures we've had, 88 degrees. Down the bottom, I'm missing one of the cores, aren't I? There's so many cores on there. <laughs> oh, crikey, there's loads of cores. CPU usage. Uh, so, yeah, 88 on a few of the cores. Look, that is hot. Encode complete. So, what I'll do is run the test uh, with the fan at 3.3 volts and also at 5 volts uh, and see how well it copes. See if we need to go to 5. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to use it at 3.3 volts because I love the fact that the fan is almost silent at 3.3 volts. But at five volts, you can hear it. Not, it's not a loud fan. So unfortunately now I need to shut down, attach that GPIO pin and do the test again. Okay, so now I've got the fan connected on the 3.3 volt header. And you can see here that when I started up, because I started up straight away, disconnected it, started up straight away. It started up 69 degrees uh, was the highest on this one. And you can see that it's currently running at 41 degrees. So the fan is definitely doing a decent job in cooling it down. Uh, don't worry that the frequency goes up and down when the operating system isn't working hard because it, it, it does that for efficiency. But once I start running handbrake, that's when it will start to ramp up. Uh, same with if you start up Chromium or something like that. So I'm going to delete these two just so that there's no uh, delay after I press start. So move to trash. And we'll do exactly the same. So open the source from the desktop and hit start. And then just keep an eye on that CPU frequency at the top left and also the temperatures so we can see the temperatures going up. We've got 72 already, 74, 76, 79. So you can see because it's still relatively low, it hasn't throttled itself. We've got some 81s there, 82. So when does it throttle? I think probably 85. 84, still not dropped. I've got an 85 down there. Yeah, and it started to throttle. Right, okay, so definitely 85 is where it starts to throttle. I'm pretty sure it took longer to throttle. Um, even though, you know, we had some residual heat from the previous test, so, you know, it would be better to properly let it cool down, but we know the fan's gonna be better. Just out of interest, my Orange Pi is using 8.7 watts at the moment. Okay, so encode complete. So shut down and uh, connect the five volt. So switch off, wait for the power to go off. There we go, and then we can disconnect this one and then connect it to this front one here. So I think these first two are five volt. Okay, so we're up and running at five volt and I can hear it and I couldn't hear it at 3.3 volt. I wasn't conscious of it, but it's not loud. If I stay quiet just for a second, I'll move my microphone fairly near. Yeah, it's nothing to worry about. 
Okay, let's do the same test again. So at five volt, and what we're we talking about temperatures. So temperatures actually started off lower than before um, because the five volt, I mean, it hadn't been on for long, but it, it, it lowered it really quickly. So what we're we looking at temperatures wise, so we're at 71, 73, and obviously it's not throttling. So as I say, it looks like 85. So let's try and look for when it goes above 85 which we haven't had yet. Is it even going to get to 85? That will certainly improve the speed of this uh, conversion. One core is running at 80. But it's not going up very fast. So I don't think it's going to get there. 84 oh, is very close, but it's also very close to the end. I'm just going to concentrate on the frequency now. Yeah, and that's finished and it didn't drop. It only dropped after it's finished. You can see now it's dropping back down. The temperature will drop down really rapidly because it's, uh, it's idling. Yeah, very impressive. Right, now I need to uh, put it all in, in my iPad and start editing it and then I can work out how long each test took. So let's have a look at the results. So with no cooling at all, it took 151.90 and uh, with the fan running at 3.3 volts it took 148.31 and with the fan running at 5 volts it took 1 minute 47.13 so definitely cooling is worth having on the Orange Pi. Again this test is quite a strenuous test albeit a very short test. This video that's playing at the moment is 53 seconds uh, it's just a, I think it's a 1080 video. That's not very long. So if you were trying to convert a half an hour video, obviously that difference would be huge. But also think about how long you have a device running. So if you've got the device running for a long period of time, it doesn't get a chance to cool down. So, you know, if you're constantly playing videos, downloading things, doing various different things, maybe the gaming side of it. So with emulation over a longer period of time, you're going to need that cooling to prevent it from thermal throttling. Uh, I mean, thermal throttling is, is no problem, um, but it's nice to think that you can run at the full clock speed when you need it. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.